If this is so much simpler than games, why is business software hard to get right? Or why does it suck so much and video games seem like they work fine? That's a good question. Um, so in games, there's a category of bugs, or there's a few categories of bugs that everyone's familiar with. Uh, duping bugs, infinite money, infinite item of whatever type. Um, items don't populate. Items don't spawn. Items do not despawn. Um, so you've got spawn and despawn bugs, item duplication, infinite money, and infinite item, whatever. These categories of bugs everyone's familiar with, and they turn up in games all the time. Um, now, consider that none of those bugs actually affect the core gameplay. So they're not game-breaking bugs, they're just annoying. Um, all my money's gone. Okay, well... Unless you're playing Momotetsu or like Monopoly or something, it doesn't matter that all your money's gone 100%. You can start back. Because a lot of times you start with no money. You can start back and, you know, like in, a, in an Elder Scrolls game. Okay, no money. Well, you can fix that. Just It's just annoying. Um, or I've got infinite money. Or I've figured out how to rig the economic system so that I can money doesn't matter to me. Or... I can get infinite items or I can just get one item and dupe it a million times and, you know, whatever. <clears throat> um, we're all familiar with these bugs. We've all seen these bugs before. And they happen all the time, but they don't break the core gameplay. So they're just like, they're annoying bugs and they will get fixed. Some of them are kind of higher priorities than others in, it, which depends on the game system. It's very context dependent how critical any of these bugs are. But my point is, these bugs happen all the time, right? Now, think about business software. All business software is, is writing a similar accounting world, accounting system, to what would happen in a game, but not being allowed to have any bugs of that kind. You can have other kinds of bugs. Yeah, display bugs. You can have whatever um, display bugs, or you can have crappy menus, or you can have whatever. Um, you can have the system go down or whatever. The thing you can't do is you cannot let the system tell customers wrong things or have a wrong view of the world. There has to be some ground truth that your system can always get back to. And like in a reliable way it always has to be able to restart to a, a known state and move on and that's not that's not a thing that matters in video games so much but it's the core feature of business software and it's the same thing that video games that are super complicated and they're simulating entire galaxies with spaceships flying around and alien races and whatever and then there's a duplication bug because the accounting system is not locked down like it needs to be if it was business software a duplication bug would be a major issue. Um, in the game, though, you're like, ah, well, that sucks. We'll try to figure it out. Um, it could be some network timing issue, and the trade-off is that the whole game has to slow down because you have to make blocking calls to make sure that nothing can dupe. They might just blow that off and say, well, this can happen sometimes, but we don't really care. Um, in business software, you do care. Absolutely care. Um, same thing with infinite money. You don't, you know, that's that's no good. Um, like if there's a refund button and every time you push the refund button you get refunded and the button never goes away so you just keep clicking like buy a thing click refund and then just keep clicking refund and you repay yourself um, that was actually a bug that happened to one of these fake layer 2 systems not too long ago there's a layer 2 system the reason I call layer 2 fake is that one they're, they're well they're custodial basically so it's a state channel that's not understood by the primary chain which means it's always exploitable. There's no way to not exploit a layer two concept. So there was a bug where I forget the name of the particular layer two system that this was, but when you put your, when you commit funds to the contract on chain that would give you funds, you know, 
result in funds being minted on the layer two chain. Um, <clears throat> if you, whenever you submitted this hash, whatever the result was to the layer two, it would mint the set, the fixed amount of coins, right? So somebody put like a hundred dollars worth of like Ethereum to this contract. And then they just replayed the hash over and over. And every time they did it, they never put new funds in here. They just kept replaying the same hash, which was just pushing the refund button over and over again. And they were minting on that chain. They were minting themselves like unlimited money. There was literally an infinite money bug, very similar to the kind that we'd see in video games that actually happened on a layer two chain, which is why you should be careful with that stuff. Um, but anyway, that's my point is that in business software, these are like mission critical problems. And in video games, they're like, you know, minor annoyances at, at most. Um, so why are, why is business software hard? It's, it's the part, <coughs> excuse me. It's not any harder in game in, in the real world than it is in games. It's just that in games, you're allowed to screw it up much more liberally than you are in business software and business software is just the hard accounting problem. In addition to a multi-source problem that you don't have in games. So like Eve online, uh, is it got a huge accounting system? It's actually done very well. Um, it's obviously done very well. What Eve Online does not have to do is they do not have to assemble their view of reality of, of like their online market. They don't have to assemble the view of the online market from like ten different sources that all speak different protocols, and all might be down at different times, and updates may be missed and whatever. And you still have to decide how to present a unified view to your user that's not a thing for them they've got a single source it's a self-contained universe that does not interact with the real world in in any but limited ways and they don't have a multi-source problem <clears throat> so they've, they've like sidestepped a whole category of trouble that occur that occurs in real real business software um another problem with business software compared to games well not compared to games another problem with business software <clears throat> that you have the same trouble with in games is that business software just consists basically of the hated dreaded inventory and accounting menu like in a game you'll have an inventory menu and you'll have uh an accounting area and stats and stuff like that and everybody usually hates those menus and there's always complaints about those menus and people always have have an opinion on how that menu should work and what it should look like that's all you should that's all you have in business software you don't have like a cool um you know game world to show your user you just got the menus um which everybody hates and everyone dreads and nobody particularly likes nobody particularly likes you know writing those um that's the yeah so that like that is business software is like everything that that might suck about a game is all you get to do when you do business software plus additional trouble with multi-source you know multi-source problems for data trying to figure out what your snapshot of truth looks like so just showing users accurate stuff on the screen to begin with is hard enough um and then how to show that to them can be hard it, it, it's hard to make decisions about until you used your own system a little bit and go back and redo it you know some better way um so anyway, it's like everything that sucks about trying to get a game to work right, like the, the crappiest parts of that, that people don't particularly like doing, that's all you get to do in business software. So yeah, it, it's hard because of this. Um, it doesn't mean the coding is especially harder. It's just this particular category of problem sucks, um, sucks to deal with, so anyway that's that's a it's kind of interesting to think through that <clears throat> but um anyway yeah that's that's my answer